Race 19 is the Bluff Cove Handicap. Tomb Hall, 0 85, three year olds and up. Tail Beer Sage for Dan Hughes, Rahin White for Josh Sullivan, Villas Adage for Gray, 9 4, Cape Verde for Paul O'Neill, Chariot Charger is the 2 to 1 favourite for Alex Cherry, Mockley for Class for James Shea, Royal Blue for Martin, Dance Desire for Dell, Red Law for Alex Cherry, Carnelian for myself, Unix El Greco for D Thompson, Sangar McGee and Bashasha for T Rogers, Cal Tide for myself, Angrado Hirosimo for D Thompson, one fast wheel for Dan Hughes, Tick Venetian for Derek Hinton, Alchemos Mars for Arthur Stella, Good Heavens for John Seaford, and Rising Damp for Kev Minahan. 20 go to post in the Bluff Cove handicap. Big field of 20 here for this two mile handicap. Last chance to see these in action, unless they come back next year. But it is Red Law for Alex Cherry who gets out in front. Nicely enough, Bonfarsh will for Dan Hughes pushes forward in the Royal Blue. Here's Good Heavens for John Seaford. Bashasha uh, also pushing forward. Uh, Chariot Charger. Angrido Hirosimo down the outside. This Bonfarsh will in front. Bashasha now just taking it out for T Rogers. In behind them is Chariot Charger. Angrido Hirosimo on the outside in the maroon and white. Good Heavens leads the rest of the pack in the yellow. From Dance Desire, Carnelian, Rising Damp. Talbia saved, Unix El Greco, Sangar McGee wide outside with Red Law, who is just tucked away in the pack. Royal Blue, Cape Verde, Fiddler's Adage in the middle, uh, Cal Teed is wide outside, Royal Blue also outside, Tick Venetian is on the rail, Cape Verde and Mockley Class is at the back. They are quickly making their way down towards the one mile free marker with Bashasha just in front from Bonfire Schwill. Chariot Charger in third, Anguido Hirosimo settled nicely in fourth, Dance Desire in fifth from Good Heavens which one see in sixth. Then you've got Carnelian on the rail, Rising Damp in the middle with Raheem White. Uh, Unix El Greco in the red is also there, Talbia Save in the Royal Blue is also there in the middle, Sangar McGee out wide. Then you've got Tick Venetian on the rail, Red Law in the middle, Alchemos Mars in the white in the middle, Cape Birdie in the red, Calte out wide in the dark blue, Filler's Adage is at the back, and Mocha Leaf Class is also at the back as they go into the final mile. Not much real change out in front. It's still Bashasha from Bonfast Wheel, Chariot Charger, Angrido Hirosimo, Dance Desire, and Good Heavens are on their tails now. Uh, Rahin White, Unix El Greco have pushed through, Carnelian still sitting nicely on the rail. From Rising Damp, Talbia saved, Royal Blue out wide in the purple with Red Law. And you've got Tick Venetian on the rail making a few places up Cape Verde. But there's a group of about seven of them, maybe eight, that have nicked just away from the pack. But Rahin White is pushing alongside those now. But in front of that pack, it's Bashasha, who's now being ridden along as they go into the final five furlong and starting to inject some pace into this race. It's going to be a real tough test for these with the rain. It's going to be a tough two miles to get here. And it's Bashasha from Bonfire Schwill, who's positioned nicely. Carnelian starting to push through the gaps of Unix El Greco. Angrido Hirosimo also down the outside. Bashasha still in front. And here's Carnelian, Bonfire Schwill, Angrido Hirosimo. Uh, Chariot Chargers also there. Raheen White is staying on. Rising Damp through the middle for Kev. They're into the final three and it's Carnelian for Nick Driver out in front from Bashasha. Angrido Hirosimo is there. Coming through for Kev is Rising Damp. Raheen White down the outside. Chariot Chargers also there. There's about six of them. Two furlongs in front and we're into the business end now with Carnelian pushing away in the Royal Blue. They're starting to come fast and wide down the outside, but only Angrido Hirosimo is within touchy distance into the final furlong. And it's Carnelian who is pushing away now from Angrido Hirosimo. Carnelian out in front, two, maybe three lengths, and this is a wrap from Carnelian. Where has this been all season, lad? Where has it been? Carnelian wins for Nick Driver. And I'll take that every day of the week. That thing did not look like winning all season. All of a sudden comes to the last day and romps home. Where's that been? Unbelievable scenes. Anyway, we'll take it. Carnelian wins for myself at 66-1 to 1 in the Bluff Cove Handicap. Red Law stayed on nicely for second for Alex Cherry. But we'll go into the full result. Garnelian wins Connor Beasley Road for myself, 66 to 1 winner of the Bluff Cove Handicap. Red Law was second at 16s for Alex Cherry. Fiddler's Adage stayed on the 5 to 2 shot for Gray. 
Dance Desire was fourth, Dell and Angra, Angra do Hiroshima just dropped away at the end for D Thompson in fifth. 